In this video, we'll introduce the motivation for needing partial differential equations as an extension of ordinary differential equations. The idea is that most phenomena that uh, are studied in physics actually depend on multiple variables, either because they are two or three dimensional or because they're one dimensional, but also depend on time. So this indicates a need to generalize the idea of uh, an ordinary differential equation, which only depends on a single variable to equations that uh, need the rates of change of multiple variables. So you go from ordinary derivatives to partial derivatives. So in ODEs, you had ordinary derivatives like d, dx, and we need to transition to PDEs, which involve partial derivatives because our quantity of interest may depend on several variables. And this is uh, in general, something like this, or it could depend on time. Uh, as we transition from PDEs to ODEs, one thing that is important to keep in mind is that PDEs are in general more difficult to solve than ordinary differential equations. And they, uh, we are not guaranteed that they possess a unique solution for a given uh, set of initial conditions or boundary conditions. Whereas for ordinary differential equations under very generous conditions, we were guaranteed before starting that uh, the equation had a solution and that the solution was unique. So they don't necessarily possess a unique solution. However, we're going to actually use this property to our advantage, uh, as we'll see throughout this, this module, uh, to be able to construct a general solution given a set of initial conditions. Uh, so for a set of initial conditions I see, or boundary conditions. So to introduce uh, sort of the first line of attack to solve a partial differential equation, we're going to focus on one particular partial differential equation that occurs frequently. And that is the heat equation or sometimes known as the diffusion equation where you're interested in a quantity I will call U which may generally depend on all three dimensions and on time. And the heat equation has the following form. So you have the partial derivative of u with respect to t. You have some constant. Uh, this could be related to um, how well your material can conduct heat. If it's diffusion, it's something related to the diffusion constant and so on. And then you have what's known as the Laplacian of U, where Laplacian is equal to the divergence of the gradient of U. And in Cartesian coordinates, This is written generally like so. And in a later video, we'll see what the interpretation of the divergence of the gradient of some quantity is. So in the context of uh, heat transfer, so the basic nature of the heat equation is this quantity U is the heat distribution with some conductivity kappa uh, without a source. So there's no source of heat. And uh, there's a special case of the heat equation 
which we'll also study extensively because it's one of the most widely used partial differential equations. And that is in steady state. So when the heat distribution no longer depends on time, the heat equation simply becomes the Laplacian of U equals to zero. And this is known as Laplace's equation. And it comes up extremely frequently in many applications. It's one of the, uh, if not the most uh, widely used partial differential equation. So using these two uh, typical examples, we're going to build up a method to solve partial differential equations uh, in, uh, in different coordinate systems. In the next video, we'll start introducing some terminology for the types of problems that are typically encountered in solving partial differential equations.